Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about how to resolve the product identifier issue within Google Merchant Center. Now there is a main rule that you need to keep. If the manufacturer has assigned a barcode then you need to submit the brand, the MPN if it's available and also the product barcode as the GTIN field and set the product identifier exists as yes. However, if you don't have barcodes, i.e. the manufacturer has not assigned them, then you cannot submit these values. So definitely do not buy barcodes and do not add a random ID to the barcode value. So in this case you need to remove brand, MPN and GTIN and set identifier exist to no. Now, as of uh, June 2021, Google has changed their policy where you do require to add a barcode to increase the uh, product quality for certain categories. Which categories these are is unknown. However, you can identify this if you have a warning within the diagnostics panel. So if you go to products and then diagnostics within Google Merchant Center, and if it says limited performance due to missing product identifiers, and you have at the same time not submitted brand, MPN or GTIN and set identifier exists to know, in this case, you do need to submit the barcode and brand value. So if you are a reseller, contact your manufacturer to ask them to sign this. Or if you are a manufacturer, then you need to buy a GS1 uh, barcode. Don't buy any random barcodes. Do not buy any uh, barcodes that are uh, pre-used by other merchants. Um, because that uh, you can do as well and those are a lot cheaper so don't do that contact the official website of GS1 I will send a link in the, the description so that you don't get confused uh, about this um, now there's also another issue with MPN and SKU the SKU is a stock keeping unit uh, so it's a number assigned mostly by resellers for their own uh, inventory checking so that they can identify what they are uh, looking at. MPN is not a SKU. MPN is a manufacturer part number and you cannot interchange this. Over the past 10-12 years that I've been working in e-commerce, this is the most confusing part that merchants tend to do, which is using the SKU value as an MPN, but that is not allowed. You cannot use that because they are completely different. Now, there is an issue, for example, with Shopify that if you are uh, submitting custom products where, the, where you don't want to submit the brand or any other attributes, is to remove the brand value. Now, what you can do is actually go in and uh, add a feed rule within Google Merchant Center. And how to do that will be explained in the next step. Okay, so now that we've logged into Google Merchant Center account, we want to go to Products, Feeds, select your feed, uh, most likely for, in your case, it will say Content API, so click on that. Now select Feed Rules, and we want to start with G10. And select processed attributes. We want to cancel the data source because we want to make a modification. We say if G10 does not match regular expression and then we copy this value we want to clear it. So this is done, so for example in random cases the barcodes are invalid, for example you just added a couple of numbers, and then it will remove this value because it's between not between 12 and 14 characters and it is not a uh, digital number, uh, numeric number, and then it will remove this value. So that is like a little fail safe if the values are incorrect. Now we want to click on save as draft. We want to now go to MPN. Uh, 
cancel the data source and add a modification now in this case we want to see the processed g10 so that is this one do not select the primary feed the processed one this means that it will use the rule that we have applied just before instead of just the value of uh, the primary feed i.e the feed that you have just imported so we click on processed attribute and in this case we want to say has no value and then select clear save as draft we do the same for the brand value cancel this go to add modification so we select processed attribute has no value and we want to clear that And the final one is for product identifier. Here we want to do a data source. So we select GTIN processed has no value. And then we want to set it to no. Okay, save as draft. And then we just click on apply. The rules will apply when the pro products are processed. So if you have a regular feed, for example, a, a delimited text file or an XML file, then you can click on fetch now here in the top right corner. However, if you are using content API, you need to wait until the products are pushed by the content API system, which is usually, usually within 24 hours. And that is how you correctly set up product identifier rules if you don't have valid barcodes in your feed. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.